friends, Laurie and Witch here with your monthly tarot card reading for your individual sign. This will be a brief snapshot of what's to come for most of you in your sun sign. It's also applicable for your rising sign and your moon sign. So watch those videos if you'd like a fuller picture of what seems to be coming up for you this month. I have picked up on messages the cards wish to give me for those who need to hear it. Now it doesn't matter if you don't feel that you have a resonance with the messages, that's absolutely fine. Perhaps the messages this month don't really apply to you. Or you could, in fact, look back on the month and actually see that they did have a purpose there. So whatever you feel like in these messages, don't worry. I do hope it does resonate with a fair few of you. It seems like it's going to be a majority for this month. Um, and if you'd like me to look at something more in depth with you, please feel free to get in touch. You can book and purchase a personal reading with me on both my website and through Etsy. As usual, thank you so much for your kind comments, for your sharing, subscribing, and also your emails as well. I've met a lot of you through Facebook and Twitter. Um, in addition to YouTube, and this really makes me happy connecting with you all. So I just wanted to let you know I am so glad that I'm able to connect with you this way and that a lot of you do feel a resonance with the readings that I do for you. Um, so without further ado, let's have a look at your sign. Hello lovely Taurians, thank you for watching your September reading for 2015. Now, if you are watching this video, you may think, hang on a minute Lorian, you have two cards for the first week of September, isn't that a mistake? No it's not. I had so much trouble with these cards, they're being a bit flighty. They're a new deck, or relatively new. It's a Chrysalis Tarot by Holly Sierra and Tony Brooks and they've wanted to work with me for a while and I asked them what cards the first week of September for the first week of September it brought out two and it refused to let me put one back they said no these are both relevant so you have two weeks for the first sorry two cards for the first week one for the second third and fourth and also the overall card is again the Earth Magic Oracle deck by Stephen D. Farmer so for September, it seems almost, well, th there is an earthy theme here, and I do believe you are going to get back down into the nitty gritty of some certain areas for you, Taurus, because in the first week, we have the two of spirals, which is normally um, the ones in traditional tarot, and we also have the hero, which is Merlin. Now, a lot of people disagree that Merlin should be represented as um, the hero because the hero would be normally the fool in traditional tarot. I think it actually matches up because on the outside you kind of see, I mean nowadays, you kind of see Merlin as maybe an old fool. He's kind of a comedy person. Um, he has a bit of a if you know, if you're looking at things like Gandalf and traditional wizards and, you know, the more general tales, there is slightly a bit of tomfoolery around there. And it is kind of, they hold a hidden power. And I always believe that the fool does actually hold a hidden power. It's the power of optimism. It's the power of um, breaking through and not being afraid to take risks. However foolish that may make them seem, you know, there is kind of a daredevil attitude and I do believe that is what Merlin holds because Merlin is not afraid to do the right thing and Merlin is also well as far as I understand and as far as the feeling that I get from him he does like to move forwards on every level and he's not afraid to just kind of go with the flow and whatever you know whenever an idea strikes him um and I feel that's going to be a bit like you Taurus to be honest along with the two of spirals which, as I say, is kind of the two of um, wands in the traditional tarot, this seems to add a little extra element to it. Now, I would say this makes the first week of September all important for you because I would say it's almost like a choice. You may have a decision to make here, and all information needed to make this informed decision, I would say, is around you. I mean, the bird here, the instinct for the bird would be to kind of make sure the nest is very nice and um, comfortable but 
which one? You know, weigh the pros and cons before you do make a decision. But go with your instinct, go with the flow, go with the optimism and wherever you can go with the risk. Because I know, you know, Taurus is a fixed sign, you're quite stubborn. Um, you're my sister sign because I'm a Scorpio and I do love you dearly for that. But I do sense this kind of rigidness that may have been holding you back from certain opportunities. Don't be afraid to move forwards when the time comes because yeah you may be weighing pros and cons of certain areas but this can be related to anything this can be love this can be work this can be personal ideas family you know which road to go down to deal with something in particular i would say the best way to do this is just to close your eyes ask yourself which way am i drawn to pay attention to your inner scale to see where your loyalties lie more and where your instinct and your optimism guide you this seems to run through the rest of the month as well because we've got the lovers in the second week now the lovers is not just about joining together in romantic partnerships this is all about trust and understanding and even the i don't know whether you can see but on the bottom of the card there's almost a male in type figure so it's it's kind of, you know, I find it quite funny. It's kind of looking around and all these animals are interested in him. But it's the wisdom of what makes you love yourself, what makes you love other people. Are you in balance? Are you in harmony with yourself and these decisions? Are you okay with what's going forwards? I do believe you may be making a romantic choice in September. Um, and I do believe you... Well, whatever choice you make, it is going to have a very big weigh-in from your heart. Um, so I do hope this is on the positive side for you. I'm not able to tune in individually, but for the most part, I do feel that it is. Because we also have the Hierophant in the third week. Now, this is, I believe, the transition. So for two weeks of September, we have Saturn still in Scorpio. For the last two weeks, we have... Saturn now making its way into Sagittarius, which is all about the philosophy, it's the education, it's learning, it's renewal. And I would say that the Divine Child does actually bring some of that understanding and renewal there, because where we have unity and oneness in the lovers in the second week, and, you know, there's a drive with the lovers, I would say. There's a there's a drive, there's a really core meaning for this. It's whatever pulls people together instinctively. Whatever pulls you towards this path, I do feel you are going to make, make headway. But the Divine Child is self-discovery. So now, I think that once you've made your decision, you are going to be able to realise your full potential. Male or female, whatever gender. I feel that this is going to be reminding you of transformation such as, you know, you've got the butterflies here, you've got the frog, various stages of your life, you're going to be taking stock of what went before and applying it to what you believe is coming up. Unless you already have the gift of foresight, I would say that you don't have to worry so much about what's on its way, which can make the planners of you out there very unstable or nervous. But don't worry, I think just push yourself, do the hard work whenever you can but also take time for yourself because this is spiritual growth this is individual responsibility which is an open mind as well as critical thinking so embrace yourself you can be overly critical of yourself you understand your strengths you understand your weaknesses you don't have to pay attention on re you know on transforming your weaknesses to be strength or reprimanding yourself if you fail at certain tasks just accept i think this is mainly just to accept the losses and move forwards um and the last week of september that's the one we were in um we now have the artiste now there is kind of as i said earlier there's kind of a, an earthy feel to this and there's a lot of well, it's throughout the entire deck, really. But this is normally the Queen of Pentacles, and she brings with her a magnetic muse-type feeling here. There's um, 
another transformation coming through and I do feel that you are going to be realising certain things coming in here. I feel that you may be inspired to express yourself through art or something creative and you may find that you're drawn to show who you are on the outside. Um, so whatever you're feeling inward it will show outside. You may start to try and transform your living area. You may transform the way you look, dress, speak, um, your social appearances, your um, the way that you present yourself on social media. If you're in, in business, your business cards may get a redesign. You may decide to try something else professionally with your family. They may start to look at you a bit differently. Um, there's a lot of changes that seem to be going through here but I don't feel this is in a negative because we have the full moon and this is about completion I tried because I felt this was this card was stuck to another card I reshuffled about four or five times and I kept bringing out the completion card call me stubborn it's a trait we share but I was determined that it wouldn't be the full moon the cards were determined otherwise so you are coming to a natural standstill to be thankful of what you have in your life what you want to draw in love yourself and what you've actually achieved even if you feel you haven't achieved that much you're still here that's an achievement in itself a lot of people don't actually make it to the stage you're at now it's very good to be grateful and it's very good to be kind to yourself don't analyse yourself too much. Just give in to the light of the full moon. You may feel solitary at some stages, even when, the, when you're around other people. That is going to change. Because the feeling that you have of yourself is going to change. And I am feeling a great deal of um, love and harmony coming through to you. So, my dear Torians, if you do want to learn more about anything in your life, just give me an email or you can purchase a reading from my website. You can also support me on Patreon if you like what the readings are giving you. They will remain free, um, but it's just to help with the production of the site if you did want to donate. Alternatively, again, just email me with any questions you may have, and I'll be able to do a personalised reading for yourself. However, I'm going to leave you with a sense of understanding, self-fulfilment, and also generational change this does seem to be moving into something positive and do let me know how you get on the subscriptions comments make my day it's ever so lovely to connect with you and understand you know how things are going for you even over twitter and facebook but i'll leave it at that for now i look forward to reading for you in october and do take care